All right, so on this diagram of the two guys and the bone, the guy on the outside building up, that's Bob the Builder, he's building new bone. He takes his bricks made out of calcium from the blood. So when Bob needs to build up the outer layers of bone, he takes calcium from the blood and puts it into the bone. The guy on the inside is Claude the Carver. He is an osteoclast. Claude is the osteoclast. Claude was the only CL name I could think of. So Claude is the osteoclast. He is carving away the interior of the bone. And as he's carving away, if you can imagine little chips of bone coming out. Now this is all on a cellular level. But if you can imagine little chips of bone coming out, what he's freeing up and what he's releasing is calcium. And that calcium goes back into the bloodstream. So Bob and Claude kind of work together to maintain this balance of calcium in the bone and calcium in the blood. Calcium is hugely important, not just for bones. Bones are kind of secondary storage areas for calcium. Calcium is really important in muscle contraction and nerve conduction and all kinds of things in the body. We always think of calcium for strong bones and teeth. Bones and teeth are kind of the storage area of calcium because it's needed in so many other things in the body. So these two kind of work together. Why can't we just have Bob building up bone all the time? It would be too heavy, right? It would be so heavy that we wouldn't be able to move our skeletons. And then Claude, if Claude was left with nobody working with him, what would happen? There wouldn't be enough calcium in the bones and we would end up with what? Osteoporosis. We wouldn't have enough calcium in the bones. If we have a calcium deficiency, then Bob runs out of bricks. Bob has nothing to take from the blood and put into the bones. The calcium is going to go where it's needed more, like to the muscles and the heart, before it goes into the bone. So Bob's like way down on the, the food chain as far as calcium goes. So Bob's going to be the last one to get the calcium. But Claude, he's still working away, working away, working away, and you end up with um, bones that don't that aren't very dense that don't have a lot of calcium in them and then the patient's at risk for what fractures right very good fractures so the idea here is that the osteoblasts build new bones osteoclasts break down the bones if the blood calcium level is very low who do you think gets over time Bob or Claude Claude why Exactly, because he's releasing calcium from the bone and putting it back into the blood. The, there's two hormones that work together to maintain our calcium balance. One puts Claude on over time, the other one puts Bob on over time. All right? So if our calcium levels in the blood are very high, then who goes to work? Bob. Bob takes the blood calcium and shoves it into the bone. Okay? All right, very good.